likes being full? All right, good. That means no one likes to be bullied. I don't like to be bullied either. Now here's a real tough question. How many of you have ever bullied someone else? I have. I'm guilty. It's not a nice thing to do, but sometimes we do it because we're human beings and we're not smart all the time. But the one thing that you have to be smart about is when somebody looks different, you don't make fun of them. You don't stare at them. And you know why? It hurts their feelings. Do you like your feelings hurt? No. No. But here's the real reason. Do you think if somebody came into this room with half of their hair gone, would they be different from you? Yes. Now let me ask you another question. If somebody came in with a bright pink shirt with a big alligator on the front. Would that be different from you? No. The point is, well, let me ask you a question. How many people are normal in here? If you're normal, raise your hand. So you guys are all normal. Who is not normal? Okay, put your hands down. So if you're not normal, does that mean that you're different? Yes. So you're different if you're not normal, right? Because what's normal? Yeah. Well, guess what? When you're different, that is normal. Because there's no one in this room that's the same. So, I'll give you an example. Whoever has blonde hair, stand up. Okay. All of these people have blonde hair. Sit down. Everyone that has brown hair, stand up. All of you guys are different from the blonde haired people. Sit down. Who has gray hair? So, our hair is becoming different from all of yours. Who has red hair? Anybody have red hair? Uh, Michelle and Michelle and Michelle and Michelle and okay, so that shows you that no one is the same, so there's no such thing as normal. Some of us wear glasses, some of us have long hair, some of us have short hair, some of us are tall, some of us have a hearing aid, some of us have braces, some wear a beret in their hair, some wear jackets, some wear sneakers. Flip flops, shoes. We're all different. And that's a good thing. Because how would you like to be the same every single day? Eat the same food, wear the same clothing, do everything the same. Right. So, with alopecia, when you lose your hair, a lot of times you feel like you're not normal. And a lot of kids get sad and they want to cover it up because they're afraid. They're afraid of being made fun of. They're afraid of people staring at them and making fun of them. But most importantly, they just don't feel good about themselves. Anybody in this room, do you ever not feel good about yourself? Like you had a bad day and it's like, oh, jeez. Okay. Sometimes, the best way of getting over that is just to go through it and don't hide. We have somebody in this in this room that has alopecia. Did you know that? Yeah. How many people knew that there was someone with alopecia? Now, put your hands down. How many people didn't know? Now, when I tell you who it is, are you guys gonna like stare at this person? No. Are you going to laugh? No. Okay, so the blonde hair people, you're not going to laugh because he or she might have brown hair, right? And the brown hair people won't laugh at her because she has blonde hair, right? Right. It doesn't matter. You might want to ask her a question about it. You think there's anything wrong with asking questions? No. No. If you have a question, like, hey, what happened to your hair? 
And then yeah. you can just go ahead and say, well, it fell out. Yeah. <laughs> and you can talk about it. It's not yeah. a big deal. Okay. Person that has allocation. Yeah. Stand up. Yeah. You guys didn't know that, did you? Well, Haley has alopecia. And right now, she looks like she has a, a nice amount of hair. And sometimes it can be just a little bald spot. And you can cover it up with long hair. And sometimes it's bigger. Sometimes you lose all of it. I started, I started the Children's Alopecia Project because my daughter, Maddie, she was five years old. She just started kindergarten. I have four daughters, and they all have lots of hair. Yeah. And Maddie starts kindergarten. Yeah. And within two months, her hair fell out. Yeah. And she was afraid. Yeah. And her mom and me were afraid. Yeah. So we gave her hats. She wore hats every day. Yeah. And that was a bad decision on us, because what we did was we made her think, well, you're losing your hair. You're not normal anymore, so cover it up. Hi. That's what I felt like. I felt like I just don't want to see it. And then the craziest thing happened. She was in a play, and she had to wear an Indian headdress. And she couldn't put it on her head because she was wearing a hat. And she thought she looked silly. And I said, well, the only thing you can do is take your hat off. She said, but I'm afraid. I don't want the kids to make fun of me. And I said, I will talk to your school. And then she said, I never wanted to wear these stupid hats anyway. All I could think about was I made a huge mistake. I tried to cover up something that was beautiful. My daughter's head. It didn't matter if it had hair on it or not. She's my little girl. I love her. And I made her feel like she wasn't as good as everyone else. And she needed to cover it up and hide. So, no matter what you guys are going through, never hide. Be who you are. All right? And if someone makes fun of you, you can walk away. Or you can tell your teacher, or your mom and dad. But always remember that if anyone bullies you, I promise you, I promise you, whoever is bullying you or making fun of you, I promise you that that person has something going on in their life too. Because they have to do that so they feel better about themselves. So that's what bullies do. They make you feel bad so they feel better. But really, bullies need friends too. Alright? So don't be a bully. We all make mistakes. Try not to be mean to people just because they look different, because who else is different? Well, we do this real big thing every year. It's called Alopecia Palooza. It's a big camp. And we have kids from all over the world that come to it that have alopecia. Because it's the only place on earth where they get to feel the same as everyone else. They don't have to worry about people staring at them because the moms, the dads, the brothers, the sisters, and the kids with alopecia, they're not going to stare at someone else because they live it every day. So they feel comfortable. And a lot of times kids come to this and they go home and if they were wearing a wig or a hat, they might take it off. We just had one in August and the greatest thing that happened, happens every year is when a mom or a dad calls me up and says, Johnny went to school and didn't wear their hat for the first time ever. That's pretty cool.